Hello fellow vapors and welcome to the Devil Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another hardware review and today we are reviewing the Unicorn Vapes Inc. Nevermore RTA. So the Unicorn Vapes Inc. Nevermore MTL RTA, co-designed by PSDBD Custom and Beardy McVapeface. Now the last two names I have not heard of. PSDBD Custom, have no idea, and Beardy McVapeface, I have no idea either, so forgive me, okay? So this is a 24 millimeter in diameter RTA, available in black and stainless steel versions. I've got both of them here for you today. So you've got five stage airflow on the top. You've also got four different airflow slots, the uh, the insert, sorry, that can go in underneath the coil there to fine tune your experience, your vaping experience, even blooming more. And it was kindly sent in by the lovely people at SR Vape. So a massive shout out to them for sending this through for the purpose of review. So on this one here, I've got 0.54 ohm build. We have got the airflow on the fully open on the top and it is normal at the bottom. Let's take for a two. A very, very satisfactory mouth to lung vaping experience. Now on the Aspire Mix, I've got one with a different build in. It is a 1.12 ohm build at 20 watts. Now I've got the airflow on the middle at the top and fully open at the bottom. Let's take that for a two. An even better mouth to lung vaping experience. Yes, it is indeed. So what we're going to do in the review today is take this down to the table, have an unboxing, show you what you get inside the kit, put a beautiful build tutorial on it, get it all set out for you and put back together. Then we're going to bring it up top, take it for a two and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So without further ado, I'll go to the box which is over here and I'll see you down at the table with a Nevermore RTA. So here is the box for the Nevermore MTL RTA. Let's take a look at what you get inside. So you will get a larger external bore drip tip, a bag of four airflow reducers, a spare tank glass, spare O-rings, post screws, and an Allen key, and the Nevermore RTA in your chosen color. So you can get this in stainless steel or matte black. We're gonna be looking at the matte black one today, but the stainless steel one is the one I have been testing out, but we'll have a look at that as and when we need to. So here we have the Nevermore MTL RTA, and we're gonna start from the top and work our way down. So the top, you have your drip tip. Now you get two supplied in this kit, as showed a second ago, but the internal bores, I would say, are more or less the same. If you kind of join them up like that, you can kind of see right down the middle there that there's no kind of like gap or any overlap or anything like that. I believe they're exactly the same bore, but the obviously the external bore is slightly different. This one fits really nicely into the mouth if you're into your MTL vaping. But yeah, the O-rings are on the drip zip side of things. Let's go to the top cap. Top cap has got lots of lovely knurling on there, kind of like a castle. A little bit sharp on the corners here, but nothing too bad. Just aids in the gripping. Now this top cap has got something a little bit different that I haven't seen before. And it is a kind of like quarter turn bayonet fit top cap. So you twist it until you feel looseness and then you can pull it off, right? Exposes your filling holes there. They're kind of offset to allow the airflow to come in through this section here. But then when you put it on like that, you can keep on turning. So you can turn until it's tight. That's when it's secure. But you can carry on turning clockwise or counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, whatever one you want to say. And then you can undo it again. Um, so it's kind of like a bayonet fit that goes round and around and around. But if we take that off, we can have a look at the airflow control. Now the airflow control comes in the form of a ring with an O-ring up the top there. You've got five different settings. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. And you control them by putting this hole over one of those little jobbies there. Now what I would recommend as well is that you lube up this O-ring beforehand, and then that helps with the movement of the O-ring. So let's squeeze that back on there, lovely jubbly. We'll put the top cap back on like so. 
give it a bit of a twist and we'll go down to the barrel now I'm unsure of the capacity on here um, I'm probably going to say it's around about a two to three milliliter mark but I cannot find the specs for it online unfortunately and that is on the unicorn vapes website and other websites online as well but you have got the raven in the middle there um, which is synonymous with the nevermore kind of poem which is called the raven by edgar Allan poe very nicely laser etched into there excuse my fingerprints excuse them if we go down to the bottom you have the base now the base here there we go. I've got serial number 287. Really nice engraving down here. You've got Nevermore, MTL, RTA, and then you've got a few markings on that there as well. 510 pin is nicely protruding. It looks like it is silver plated as well. Really, really nicely done. So what we're going to do now is unscrew this and have a look at the deck. So to unscrew the deck, simply pinch the glass here, hold it tight but not too tight. Now while I'm down here as well, it would have been nice to have seen a little bit of knurling, just to mirror this knurling up here to aid a bit of grippage down the bottom. But you know, it is quite grippy anyway because it is a matte colour. Just pinch and twist. There we go. And we'll have a look inside the chamber kind of thing. And look at that, it's beautiful. The threading is nice and smooth, no sharp edges or anything like that. Nice and domed, which is renowned for good flavor. Beautifully domed, look at that. That is really nice. And your airflow will come in between at this black bit and the silver bit there. You can get your nail down there in there, but um, that is where your airflow will come down. It will come down onto the deck. So this is the deck, post list design, four post screws. The airflow will come in through these holes here. So you've got one pin hole there, and one pinhole on the other side. You got a bit of a peak insulator, I would call that there. Um, Allen key post screws. Airflow will come up through the bottom there, so you will want your build horizontally mounted through here. Wicking holes either side. Now this is kind of like a GTA style deck, so the deck is like hovering above. It's on like a platform above, and your e-liquid will go into here. Sorry about the focus there. Your e-liquid will go down into there, and then soak up through these ports here, and then into your coil going horizontally. So I think that pretty much goes through the deck there, and that is a beautifully done deck indeed. So what we're gonna do now is put this on a build deck, and we're gonna whack a lovely build on it. So while we're down here, I'm gonna show you how to whack in the little airflow inserts. Now, they've got a little O-ring on there like so, and all you do is push them into the center there. Now, the one issue I have in my brain is that if they're pushed down all the way, Will it short out the deck? And I don't think it will, um, in all honesty, because you've kind of got a little gap there. So it doesn't short like either side. In my head, I'm thinking this top bit here will hit either side of the deck and short it out. But anyway, those um, airflow reducers there, as you can see quite beautifully, um, they reduce your airflow down even more if you do want a bit of a tighter draw. But if you're happy with the top five different airflow things, then just keep them out, keep them in the box, and save them for a rainy day. So yeah, let's start getting a build on this. And the coils I'm using today are the MTL Clapton's by Proper Coils. Yes, I am indeed, and I've got one on the end of my screwdriver here. So what I'm gonna do, you gotta determine what post you gotta unscrew, so I'm doing the top left of oh, this top one and this bottom one. Lovely jobby, so we'll get our Allen key, and we'll do top right there we go top right bottom left unscrew them all the way flip it round and undo that one as well beautiful and what you want to do is drop your coil in and determine how high you want your coil so just drop it in there and then decide whether you need to cut any of the legs off which i do you know a little bit too high on there or a bit too much height on there. So what I'm gonna do is trim off the bottom of the legs ever so slightly. So just a few millimeters will do. I'd rather do too little now than too much. Um, Cause then, then you're up a blooming creek without a bloody paddle. Um, make sure that they go straight in the bin and then grab your deck and whack it back in there. Now what I will need to do on this as well is ever so slightly space the coil. There we go, and just whack your legs into the holes. 
and once that build is in there gauge the height of it off the deck you want it quite close i've enjoyed mine quite close but you don't want it too close otherwise the um, e-liquid will pull up in at the bottom of there so just double check raise it up a little bit like so and I think that is a beautifully spaced build. Probably one of the best builds I've put on there. I put an alien build on there before and uh, that was nice. But this, I'm loving it. So what I'm going to do now is whack this on a mod and we're going to do some pulsing. So I've got this set to the heavy heights of 10 watts and we've got it at 1.07 ohms. Let's give it a bit of a pulse. And that is glowing quite nicely. Uh, we'll probably need that around about 12 to 14 watts, I would say to heat up the coal a little bit better there we go that is heating rather rather nicely indeed beautiful and a nice height above the deck there beautiful so what we're going to do is let that cool down and then we're going to whack some wick in there so right i'm using swag cotton as per always whack it through like so give it a tug nice one and then when you get to the middle give it a bit of a floss beautiful and then you want to cut it just outside of the deck so grab your scissors wherever mine are which are over here you want to cut it around about here all right and then the same with the other side there we go i'm just going to lock that there we go didn't want to fire it whilst the cotton is in there and then you want to tuck these little tufts down the little holes now i've found what is best is a screwdriver or even um, ceramic tweezers as well. Ceramic tweezers gets them down there enough. But you wanna kind of bung up these holes, but nicely. You wanna feed it in ever so slightly. And if your cotton is a little bit too much, you can take it out and then push it in, uh, cut the ends off and then push it in a little bit more, which I think is what is going on here as well. So take it out, give it a little bit of a fluff and then you just want to cut a little angle off of the end like so like that just take a little bit of the thickness out of it lovely and then grab your ceramic tweezers which are over the other side and then just poke it down and then do the same with the other side so i'm going to give that a little bit of a trim and poke that down as well Beautiful, next stop, you wanna grab your favorite e-liquid. Zeus use the back ice and unlock the device. Just put some on there. Give it a little pulse. Get it on the coils, get it on the wick. Beautiful, so what you wanna do next, grab your top cap, put it on like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Unscrew that, squeeze some juice in. Lovely job. Top cap on, drip tip on, and then you are good to vape. So what we're gonna do now is take this back up to FaceTime and give my overall thoughts and opinions on it. So we're back up top with the Nevermores RTA, two of them. So we've got two, they're called Nevermores RTA, I would say. So let's start off with this 1.12 ohm build in here. Airflow half open and then fully open at the bottom. Let's go. A nice amount of restriction, a beautiful amount of flavor, absolutely beautiful amount of flavor. Obviously not the tightest mouth to lung draw you can get off this, but this is a very nice, you know, it's semi loose, semi restricted mouth to lung vape, but the flavor is absolutely outstanding. It's actually making my mouth water at the moment. I would say this is easy an eight, eight point two five out of 10. 8.5, let, let, let's go for 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10, that, that flavor is just outstanding. And the draw on this, I would say, um, not at the moment, but when you play around with it, especially just with the top airflow, is a true mouth to lung experience, or what I would call a true mouth to lung experience. So let's go on this build here, which is ever so slightly higher, a 0.5, uh, a 5.4 ohm, sorry, a little bit lower ohm build, sorry. 0.54 ohm build at 18 watts. Let's take that for a two. A little bit of a warmer vape, I would say. 
airflow is fully open on this as well, but the flavor is just still bloody stand outstanding. 8.5, easy. Oh, it's, it's just so good. Uh, I'm, I'm edging towards a nine. I am really edging towards a nine, but I'm gonna close this airflow down a bit because I haven't really done it on this one yet. So if we close it down, I've been vaping this mainly with the airflow fully open. So I'm gonna go down to the second smallest hole. So we'll aggravate that down a bit to there, I would say. Let's take that for a two, put the top cap back on. I find it easier to adjust the airflow with the top cap off on that, and we'll go through that in my pros and cons. Top cap back on. Mm. Beautiful. 8.75 to nine. There, there are no words. Uh, the flavor on this is really good. Um, really damn bloody good. But we have got to get into the pros and cons rather than creaming over the flavor that I'm getting from this thing. We'll start with the cons because, you know, you've got to have cons on things. I can't always be, you know, willy-nilly about stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. So... I, I'm, I don't mean to be nitpicky or anything, but as a reviewer, I've got to point out things that annoy me when using an atomizer or, or a product in general. And the, the first thing that ever so slightly annoys me is the top cap. Now, as I showed down there at the bottom, to undo the top cap, it's kind of like a quarter turn bayonet and it pops off. But then it's kind of like it hasn't got a stop on the actual top cap to stop you spinning it round and around and around. You can you can spin it left, you can spin it right and still take it off or do it up. Um, it's kind of like an ambidextrous top cap. But what you do, what I found you do, is you put it on and then you just twist it till it's tight. You don't carry on going. But it's one of those things you've got to take into account before buying this. I wouldn't say it would be a contributory factor into me not buying this. Um, but it's something that you've got to look out for before actually actually buying this but it's it's not too bad another thing as well i found the airflow at the top it needs a little bit more knurling um it's all a bit too smooth and hard to grip when you are trying to adjust the airflow yeah you can lube up the o-rings a little bit but still it doesn't cut it enough um there needs to be a little bit more knurling at the top i wouldn't have minded you know like the the castellizations at the top i wouldn't have mind if they carried down onto here and had it looking like a bit of a cog kind of thing i would have really liked that actually um for those to come down there and then oh that would have looked pretty damn smart to be honest with you let's take for another two yeah um those would be my two main cons i think uh, let me think about the deck. No, I wouldn't say anything else. It's all in that top cap area that slightly bugs me. But if we go into pros, you are getting more or less outstanding build quality on this. Um, you know, I don't think the top cap or the airflow are, you know, mistakes in the build or anything like that. I just think that's how it was designed. So I can't take that out of, um, you know, I can't give that as a negative kind of thing too much, but it, like take it out of how I think the build quality is. Um, yeah, very, very nicely made, beautifully made. The deck is beautiful. The airflow inserts, they're really not my kind of thing, uh, to be completely honest with you. I have tried them, but you know, I just can't be bothered with a fanning about. That's why I haven't done it in my, um, my vape time on this um, because I'll be taking them in, putting them out. And by the end of it, I'll be putting five, well, bloody five, yeah, 10 bloody builds in the thing, you know, and it, it gets a little bit long and I, I really can't be asked to do that. So I'm giving you kind of like the main airflow and then you can kind of tune it down with the smaller airflows. But the flavor on this is outstanding. Um, I'm going to say an 8.75 on both of these. The flavor is just um, really, really blooming good. Um, probably be my number one our MTO RTA of 2020, but we'll soon find out. I'm, gonna, I'm just still going to decide on that, but they it is very good. And um, yeah, build quality, price, cl clouds, you know, they're around about average for an MTO RTA. Nothing to complain about there. But the range of airflow that you can get, you know, you can go from a loose MTL to a tight MTL, really damn good. And then you can tune that even more with those poxy inserts that I don't bloody like. 
Now, you can buy this um, from the people that sent it in to me. Their logo will be on the thumbnail, but I cannot state who it is. Um, but I will state who sent it to me at the end of the review. Um, you can buy this for £54. Um, a little bit pricey, but this is a kind of what I would call a, a high-end piece of kit. You know, the way it's made, um, it's just beautiful. The whole thing is just beautiful. I, I would call this high-end. Um, some people might not call it high-end, but it will be high-end for quite a few people. Uh, £54 for, a, for an atomizer that is producing flavour like this and is built as good as this, I would say that price is absolutely bloody fine i would not complain about that price at all and yeah black or stainless steel both of them are absolutely bloody stunning so let's take it for a final two and give my overall thoughts and opinions overall thoughts and opinions a very versatile mouth to lung rta the top cap um, could do with a bit of work on it personally, but it hasn't bothered me too much. The airflow could do with a bit more knurling, but the flavour and the build quality on this is absolutely bloody outstanding. So I'd like to thank the lovely people at SR Vapes for sending this through for the purpose of review, and the people at Unicorn Vapes as well. I've been the Devil Vapor, and you've been watching Devil Vapor's Vape Reviews.